Hello! Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Leah. I am the Scrappy Planner and this is my YouTube channel where we have all kinds of fun planner related content. So today I'm coming to you with another plan with me. This is in my Happy Planner Glam Girl Limited Edition. Um, it is the classic size Happy Planner. So I will be using this beautiful, beautiful kit from Eclectically Emily. This is kind of a winter neutral theme kit. Um, it does have a lot of um, kind of taupe and gray and black and green um, colors, just very neutral tones in it. So I thought that this was beautiful. I have pulled some clips from my stash that coordinate with the colors this week. So we have this floral clip along with a glitter bow and then this beautiful gray bow. Um, I made this clip, this was given to me by a friend and this is from my good friend Christine at Kids Accessorized. So let me put these off to the side. I do use those just for decoration in my planner each week to coordinate. I have my handy dandy tweezers for laying down those tiny stickers. I am sticking with just the tool pen. This is the gel 0.5 tip. Um, this is my favorite pen that I use frequently. And this week I'm not trying to match a color of the kit. I'm just going with the black since this is a very neutral kit. Um, so let me show you. These are the pages of the kit. This is a six page kit. Emily did gift this to me because she is such a sweetheart. She donated, I believe, five of these kits to the Winter Planner Land event in December that I administrate. And she sent one extra kit for me to keep as a gift. And I love it. So, of course, I'm going to use it in my planner this week. Um, this is sized to fit an Erin Condren. And I don't really know if I've talked about that on this channel before, but... Even though I use a Happy Planner, the boxes are the same width. The height is a little bit different than Erin Condren. And I know a lot of people out there complain that there aren't many shops that do kits sized specifically for the Happy Planner. But I am here to tell you this is my second or third year in a Happy Planner and I don't care. The Erin Condren sized kits work just fine. And I like it, honestly, a little bit better. Um, because I have a little bit of extra height, so I can add a quarter box appointment label. I can do a fun banner if I want to. Um, so the little bit of extra room on top or on bottom of the Erin Condren height boxes does not bother me in the least. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. If you use a Happy Planner, don't be afraid to get the Erin Condren size kits. Um, I did pull out a lot of washi. So here is a selection of skinny washies that I pulled from my stash. And then there's a couple of skinnies and a bunch of regular size washies. So um, some of these are from Michael's, like the Recollections. This plaid right here was from the Target One Spot. These both are from Paper Dove Shop. This one is from the Pink Room Co. Um, on Etsy. I'll link those shops down below. And then this, of course, is a Simply Gilded. If you recognize the gold foil bows on that one. So I'm going to do um, a weekend f uh, banner out of washi. If you watch Nikki Plus 3 on YouTube, I think that she does those just about every week. Um, I used to do them a few years ago in my Erin Condren, and I haven't done it in a while. So this um, week, I'm going to try it in my Happy Planner because I think it's very fun. Um, so Nikki, thanks for the reminder of doing those. I did pull a bunch of extra sheets of stickers from my stash. As you can see, I pulled a ton of bows. Like, I absolutely love bows. I have some foil bow clips and bows in here. I have some Disney stickers. Those are the date dots from Exo Mama Plans that I'm going to use. I have some more pet stickers, my German Shepherds. Um, so all of those will get incorporated, I'm sure, into the layout this week. And then also in front of me, I have my... May Designs. Um, this was purchased at Target. This is the 2018. This is six months and it's just a week on one page horizontal. Um, I do note which kit I'm using every week in here so that I kind of pre-plan that. And this is just my 
pen and ink only forward planning notebook. So these are the notes of all the things that I have coming up this week that I want to make sure I incorporate as I'm doing my plan. So I just use a binder clip to keep it held open while I'm using it. So I have that laid off to the side so I can reference it. Last but not least, I do have this little tiny book right here in front of me. This book is like perfect for samplers and little credit card size sticker sheets. So I do find that I grab for those as I'm planning um, periodically. I don't know if I'll incorporate any of these this week, but I do have it sitting here in front of me. I also have my very large sticker storage box sitting right here off camera, right there. Um, it is a very large box. I just went to an accordion file system for my stickers. If you are interested in me trying to figure out how to film a video of that, please let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can figure that out. But um, I think I have finally found sticker storage piece. I think there is such a thing. So, and I think I found it y'all. Um, so anyway, I'm happy to share that if there's interest, but let me go ahead and get right in. This week we are filming the plans for January the 29th to February the 4th. And I can't believe this is the end of January already. I don't know where the time has gone. Um, so the first thing that I like to do is lay down washi. I lay down washi here in the center just to reinforce um, my weeks. And let me show you. This is the current week. Today is Saturday, January the 27th that I am filming. Um, and this is the current week in my planner. I haven't finished filling out everything on Saturday and Sunday. I do a lot of planning as I go. But this kit was um, from Jackie at Pink Paper Plane. This is her beautiful um, Beauty and the Beast. And I did the winter theme here. So that's how this week is turning out. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the pages out of my planner. I like um, that is one of my favorite things about the Happy Planner that I like is the ability to just pop these pages out and in as needed. As you can see, I have not done my February monthly yet. I'll work on that. Let me see what I can do. Um, but I do take my pages out of my planner. That's I like to, to decorate with no pages in the planner, and then I just pop them back in when I'm done. So let me... Um, start laying down washi. I will probably go ahead and lay down the center washi, some bottom washi. I will um, lay down the bottom washi from the kit. So I will speak to that very quickly while we're still talking here. This is the bottom washi from the kit. And I think I shared last week that I like the Erin Condren kits that have bottom washi. And I use it as top washi and then add date covers either on top of it or right underneath it in my planner. So um, that's one way that I use the Erin Condren formatted kits in my happy planner to make it work for me. So you'll see me do that as we kind of speed through this part. Um, I might go ahead and do the little washi weekend banner. Um, and lay that down, or I may wait until after we do the date covers. So anyway, y'all, um, just sit back and let me get started on this. We'll speed through this part, and I'll talk to you in a moment. Our washi laid down. I am going to go ahead and put in the date covers up here across the top. I am going to use, um, so here are the date covers and I'm going to use these date dots like I talked about from Michelle at Exo Mama Plans. Let me grab my tweezers and let me, I'm going to go ahead and put the dates on here. These circles line up absolutely Perfect, so there we go. There are our date covers down, and I think that the next thing I'm going to do, I pulled this very thin, uh, kind of coppery color metallic washi. I'm going to add a thin strip of that washi under the date covers all the way across. Um, and then I'm going to use the regular size washi and do the weekend um, banner. So let me speed through that part and I'll be right back. So I really 
really like the way that this turned out. Um, struggled a little bit, if you saw, with the um, washi, but I haven't done it in a while, and I absolutely love it. Um, I will probably try this from time to time, especially when the weekend banners are a little, you know, more um, plain or just more simple. It adds a little bit of extra flair, I think, to the weekend. So let me go ahead and do some half boxes and full boxes. I am a white space planner, so I don't um, use as many full boxes in my weekly spreads as other folks do. Um, that being said, I do usually like to put um, a full box up here. Um, I haven't been putting them over the calendar lately, but I'm going to this time. And there are so many. There are 16 full boxes in this, and I think that they are simply stunning. So I think I'm going to pull this one right here that has like this really simple um, like door lock effect to it. So I'm going to put it right here over the calendar in this top right corner of the planner. And then I know exactly what I'm going to do next. I'm going to add this um, really pretty marble bow um, washi from Paper Dove Shop right underneath it. That is a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can fix it. Come on. Let's see how the washi looks under it. Yep. There we go. I think we got it nearly straight. So I like the bows underneath that. Let's just tear these off. I love this washi from Paper Dove Shop. That is where um, the washi across the bottom, which is like this um, marble with the gold and black paint drip effect. That's where that's from. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and do a box right here. She's got these check boxes in the kit. I'm gonna use this green one. Um, and I'm using the green primarily because I don't use a lot of kits with green in them. So if I have um, another kit or something um, that I could use like the gray for, it won't be as big of a deal. I'm gonna use this header that says important. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay down this header right here that says important because I don't really use headers in my weekly layout if you've ever watched my plan with me's before. Um, and I'm going to put this over here on the sidebar with this gradient kind of checkbox looking sticker under it. I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do. There we go. Get it lined up. I like that. All right. And then I'm going to use this happy mail sticker right on top of where it says important and this will be any happy mail received this week so i like doing um, the happy mail over on the sidebar like that so now i'm going to do another little piece of this bow washi right here where it says notes all right so that's kind of the start of the sidebar and then i'll decide what i want to do with this bottom piece of it um, next, I'm going to go ahead and lay down um, half boxes across Monday through Friday each day. Um, I do track my outfits of the day every day um, so that I keep up with what I'm wearing to work and don't wear the same things over and over and over again. So I'm just going to pull some half boxes from the kit. She gives you a ton, and I do mean a ton, of half boxes in her kits. Um, I think I counted 12 half boxes. So that is a lot and I absolutely love it because I do use them, as I said, every week for marking um, outfits especially. So let's see. I like this tree one. All right, so we're gonna just put these all the way across. And then I think I'm gonna pull in some simple bows on each day. down on our half boxes for our outfits all right and then um 
four, our German Shepherd is continuing some medication and he is getting down to the nitty gritty. So we're almost done with what we have to do for him. Um, he does have to get a bath three days this week and that's gonna be Tuesday, yep, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I'm going to, these are um, from Lily Henry. This is her pet care bath time sticker. So I'm just gonna pull these green ones. They're a little brighter than the green, I think, in the kit. Um, but I think they'll coordinate perfectly fine. So let me put that off to the side and we'll just put these down on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Thor is getting so much better. Um, I have shared in my past few plan with me's that we've been doing medications for him. He has to have a bath every other day for a month. They think that he got a yeast infection on his skin or like some kind of fungus and he was losing hair and he had this really weird rash on him. So we're using some special shampoo and he's getting a lot better. Um, so those three days are when he has to have a bath this week and then he only has two days left of medicine and that's gonna be Monday and Wednesday. And then he will be done with his oral medication. So I pulled these German Shepherd stickers from Adriana Piper. Cute, cute, cute. I do love it much. All right, so there are two Thors and I'll just write in that he has to do his medicine on those two days. Now on Monday, I'm gonna put down my coffee sticker. There is a large coffee sticker in the kit. Here we go, this very large kind of frappuccino looking sticker that I like a lot. I'm gonna put that down on Monday. All right, there we go. So there's our coffee on Monday. On Monday, we actually have a meeting at work. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another half box for that meeting. Oh, actually, you know what? I can't forget. Monday is trash day. Oh, can't forget the trash. All right, so here is like an appointment label. And there is a trash can, right? Here's a trash can from the kit. She has a couple of trash cans, so we'll do this one. All right, so I'm going to put this appointment label right here. I'm going to cover up. That little scallop, I'm okay with it. I color up that little bit of scallop in the planner um, and put the trash can right there, trash can icon. It's kind of light, it doesn't necessarily stand out, but that's okay too. This right here, and this will note our, appoint, our um, meeting at work. I'm going to use one of these bow clips. These are from, yikes. Felicia at Libby & Co. These are her like glitter bow clips. I'm gonna add one of those down here for our meeting at the office. And then I also have an eye doctor appointment on Monday. I have a bunch of eyeglasses. I'm going to use these again from Felicia at Libby & Co. And I do have a coupon for her shop for 15% off, so I will link that down below as well. Um, I'm gonna use these little glasses right here to note my eye doctor appointment on Monday. I'm actually excited about it, isn't that funny? I'm excited about the eye doctor, go figure. Um, all right, so that's really everything that I have on Monday. On Tuesday is my brother's birthday. So definitely want to make a note of that. I think I'm going to use one of these little appointment labels right here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to put it right up here, right above this little scallop. And then I'm going to pull out, I have tassel banners, again, from Felicia at Libby & Co. I feel like I'm saying that constantly. Um, this is her winter palette, and I think that there are... I like this little like taupey color right here. I think this tassel banner will look great right there on Tuesday for Richard's birthday. There we go. All right, that's cute. And then there's a little birthday cake on the kit. This little teeny tiny birthday cake sticker. I'm gonna add that 
right there. I can make a note of my brother's birthday. Um, and then on Tuesday evening, we have a meeting. This is our monthly cancer support group meeting. So let's use one of the half boxes from the kit. Oh, look, there's this little doggy half box. I could have used that for Thor one day. Oh, well, it's super cute. I'm going to use this one, this half box. Um, and I'm going to use it right up here. Um, use one of these little flags here from the kit. First, I'm going to add a little piece of that glitter washi over where this scallop is. All right, so we're gonna put this down um, and then I'm gonna use the little page flag and a bow. So let's use the page flag right there. Um, maybe we could use another one of these. What do we think, from Simply Watercolor Co? Um, I could use the last one of these darker grays there we go. That matches quite nicely and it gives a little bit of shimmer right there. A little bit of foil accent right there to make that meeting stand out. All right, so we'll do that there. Um, that's all we have on Tuesday. On Wednesday, um, I need to mark that it is Vicki's turn to bring the donuts. Donuts are very important. I have shared that every week on my channel that I'm in charge of the donut schedule at work and who brings the donuts is a thing that we mark. So let's add that right there. All right. Um, and I did pull these donut stickers out. This is from Little Surprise Shop. So we're going to use this chocolate frosted donut and I'm going to add these um, stickers that she has, that Emily has in this kit down here are kind of like they're like appointment label size, but they're more like a header, so they're like solid, almost kind of like washi strips. So I'm gonna add one under here just to give us a little bit of space. There we go, I like it. And then I'm gonna put the donut right there. And then it doesn't matter that it goes down into the next line. There we go. All right, and then we'll add a little bit of our glitter washi. What do y'all think about that? Right here under it. There we go. So a little bit of glitter washi under there. That's really cute, actually. All right. So we have that there. Um, we do have our weekly meeting. All right. So we're going to use our handy dandy bow clip here from Laura at My Newest Addiction to note our weekly meeting at the office. All right. We'll put that right there. All right. That's fine. And the other thing that I want to make a note of on Wednesday is that it is payday for me. I'm going to use one of these headers right here. Let's use this black one. Even though it says to do, I'm going to use that right here. And then I'm going to put a payday sticker on top of it so it covers up the to do. There we go. All right. I like it. There we go. So payday. And then we'll do the same thing on Friday. We have another payday on Friday. So Wednesday we have our donuts, our meeting, and payday, and Thor's medicine. So that's all we have on Wednesday. On Thursday, um, I do have my weekly Weight Watchers meeting. So, so here we go. We're going to add just a little tiny bit of washi right there for accent. Uh, there we go. All right, and then I pulled these scales from Scribble Prints Co. These are very old. I've had them for a long time. But there's this dark green scale that I'm going to use this week to note um, my Weight Watchers meeting on Thursday. Uh, what else? do we, I think that's really all we have on Thursday and Thor's bath. Friday is my husband's payday. So I'm going to use another one of these. I'm going to use this one. Headers from the kit that says today. And we're going to put that down and we're going to cover it up. Yep. 
I'm going to put that down and put this payday sticker from the kit over it. Um, I like the way that that turned out in the last one. So there we go. Oh, come on. Maybe I should have used my tweezers. Eek. All right, so I like that there. And then the other thing that I do every Friday is check my kids' grades. So... So we have payday, we have to check our grades, and if I don't write it down, I will forget. Oh, the other thing that I want to note on Friday um, is that it is five months until we go to Disneyland. So I'm super excited about that. We are going to Disneyland this summer instead of Disney World. Um, it's kind of a celebration of my son's graduation. He graduates from high school this year, so we're doing a, a fun and a little bit bigger trip than we normally would do this summer so let me make a note of that in here and i pulled some castle stickers um these are from pretty sheepy they say best day ever but i'm going to clip that off of the bottom and these are um like the disneyland castle which is a little bit different than the disney world castle at least that's what they look like to me all right so i just clipped best day ever off the bottom and now we have just the castle. So I'll make a note of that right there. There we go. Good deal. Okay. And then um, Friday night will be movie night at our house. And there is a movie night sticker here in the kit. Let me pull that in. All right. We'll just do movie night right there. And I'm going to add a piece of washi above it. Um, and I'll just write in whatever movie we watch um, on Friday night when I get to that point. Then on Saturday, um, I'm actually going over to a friend's house. There are several of us getting together. We will be doing our um, Valentine's setup in our Traveler's Notebooks. So that's on Saturday. So I pulled out my Once More with Love set. And this is really cute. This is like a bunch of girls together crafting. I feel like that is going to be very appropriate for us. There's like four of us getting together. I'm going to use this half box from the kit right here. There we go. There's our half box. And then I'm going to use one of these. These are like little headers that she made in the kit. I'm going to use one of those under it. All right, and then I'm going to put these little girls crafting right here across the bottom. So that is on Saturday, and then Sunday is the Super Bowl. So I don't know if y'all are watching. We always watch the Super Bowl. Um, we live in Georgia, so the Atlanta Falcons are like our home team or whatever. Um, which, of course, they're not playing in the Super Bowl. Last year they were in the Super Bowl. Did not turn out so well for us. So I'm going to make a note. I actually have two football things to use on Sunday. So Sunday is the Super Bowl, and then my son has flag football. At, um, he plays in, like, a church league. So let's... Do this. We will do the Super Bowl on one of these half boxes for the evening time. We'll do it down here because I don't know what time it comes on. I'm just going to guess that it will be late because it always is, right? So here we go. We're going to do this half box down here Sunday night with a little gold foil football. These are from the Basic AF Planner. So it's these little tiny gold foil footballs. I'm going to put that right there in the corner. And then I'm going to add a tassel banner. And I'm going to do one of these kind of olive green looking tassel banners from Libby & Co. right here. Come on. I'm going to add that to make it stand out a little bit on Sunday for the Super Bowl. And then I'm going to do... An appointment label. Am I? Yes. 
going to do an appointment label up here for my son's flag football. There we go, and another one of these little tiny footballs in the gold foil. All right, there we go. All right, I can write that in. So that's what we have on Sunday. All right, so that, I believe, is everything that I know right now that I have planned for the upcoming week. I have a ton of stickers left over. You know what? I may use these little, yep, the little wine stickers. How adorable is that? Right there on that half box. Um, and then I do have, you know what? Before I start writing things in, I do have these habit trackers in the kit. So there are six habit trackers, which is a lot. I'm going to go with these green ones. Um, we've already used green on our sidebar, so that will work out just perfectly fine. And then if I have some left over, it'll be more the neutral colors that I can pull into other kits if I want them. So I want a couple of habit trackers down here. All right, and then I might go ahead and pull in another full box from the kit just as decor. Um, I like this tree. Let's do this tree. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to add, let's see. I'm going to add one of the headers over here, like these blank solid headers right here under this habit tracker. And then I think that's going to be exactly enough room for the full box below it. And then I'll have a full sidebar, which I don't normally have this full of a sidebar. Kind of crazy. That worked out perfect. The spacing is absolutely perfect. So there is an entire sidebar, which again is a little bit unusual for me, but I do like it very much. All right, I have a ton of stickers left over here to the side. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and write in my plans for the week. So I will speed through this part and I will be right back. Um, this is our plans this week all laid out. Let me pop the bows that I selected this week up here at the top. Um, so I do use these. Um, I just leave them in my planner for the whole week. Um, oops. Let's put this one right here. Oh, there we go. It covers up that full box a little bit, but that's okay. I typically leave my planner open on my desk for a half week at a time. So I usually only put the bows on one half and I'm okay with that. Um, but this is how it turned out. Again, I do a lot of planning as I go. Um, I will fill this in when I know what time we're going over to Meredith's and exactly what I want it to say, but I will fill that in later. Um, but this is our happy mail tracker over here. I've got a couple of habit trackers um, that I will fill in as the week goes on. And here are our Monday activities and so on. So I really like, um, I like this. I hope that y'all have enjoyed it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below and I'll get back to you. Um, I will link all of the shops mentioned as well as any discount codes that I have available in the description. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe by hitting that red button right there so that you can stay tuned when I have new videos coming out. I will continue to make some fun planner related content. If you have any requests, feel free to let me know. Thanks again. I will see y'all next time. Bye.